Well, we begin tonight with that breaking news on the bridge blockade. Good evening and thank you for staying with us here tonight at 7. I'm Glenda Lewis and I'm Dave Llewellyn. It is the hour of reckoning for protesters who shut down the Ambassador Bridge all week long. A Canadian judge granted an injunction to end the blockade effective at 7 p.m. Police have notified the protesters that blocking the streets is now a criminal offense. And if they don't move, they could be arrested and their vehicles seized. 7 Action News reporter Brett Cast is live in Windsor right now. And Brett, any sign of movement so far? Yeah, well, Glenda, the movement is uh, more people are showing up here. Uh, if I can get the camera turned around again, we're on our phone because of some service issues, but you can see the crowd has just been growing since we've been here uh, and the night has moved on. They've got music playing, uh, a lot of people out here. We haven't seen too many uh, police. A lot of people um, gathering, more people continuing to come. And I was just talking um, over here to James right here, who's joining me here. So, James, what do you think is going to happen from here on out? What are your plans if the police uh, do come on in right now? So, I think they're not going to come in right away. I think they're going to give us warnings and stuff. But uh, these, uh, we've been talking to them. A lot of guys have been talking to them. I don't think they, they you know, it sucks. They don't want to be in this position. We don't want to be in this position. We're not, you know, this, as you can see, it's all peaceful. And um, my plan is to stay right right here and uh, and lock arms and, and just sit and nothing else. That's it. And so you know how long? I mean, do you, do you, do you anticipate people coming in here? I mean, what do you think is going to... Like more people? More, or? more people and more police. Uh, I think uh, last past hour, I've seen a couple hundred more people come in. And... Uh, I don't know if there'll be more uh, coming in tonight, but I know the people here are ready to stand our ground in a peaceful and uh, respectful way. And uh, I hope it all stays safe and good. Well, thanks, James. I yeah. appreciate it. Um, so that, that's kind of the sentiment we're hearing from a lot of people is that, uh, you know, we were hearing about a group locking arms here. If police do show up, um, they're going to be kind of just standing here and being peaceful and see what happens with the police. So I want to take another look, though, and see uh, the other thing with this, the, the group also have a number of these semis there so you know it's not it's not just the people it's also the the cars and all the vehicles they would um, again this is not just uh, they come in at seven and it's gonna clear out and obviously it's after seven so uh, we'll see what happens from here on out but uh, right now reporting live in Windsor I'm Brett Cast 7 Action News all right, Brett, we've been seeing this unfold all, you know, for the last couple of days, some serious commitment to what these drivers feel about vaccinations. Well, drivers and the others who yeah. have come in to uh, join the protest. Uh, yes, it'll be interesting to see uh, how we get this unraveled in the uh, hours and maybe in the days ahead. In the meantime, 7 Action News will continue to monitor the situation live. And uh, remember, you can also get all updates on our website at WXYZ.com.